over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, I'm glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again. Another triumph for stanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchen. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is correct. Time out for the cavalry! You colored outside the lines of the law, lady culture. We see you! And this time we're going here. to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to So now, my foolish comes. Attack the dog! Ow! Democrats in a crate of sauerkraut. Agents is a shop racer to swallow. You crack me up, little buddy. Who's that supposed to be? Stop this foolishness. Attack the dog. <laughs> Somersaulting Democrats in a crate of sauerkraut. You crack me up, little buddy. Stop this foolishness. Attack the dog. microphone is starting to spark from overuse, but that doesn't mean we're ready to pack it in. We've got the stars of the not-quite-canceled sitcom Midtown Cowboys, who also happen to be the winner and judge of TV's embarrassing idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and Matt. Hold the right, little pal. That bear seems more than slightly hinky in the mesmeric sense of the term. Shadier than a fat man's ankles. Let's take it down like ducks in a gutter. Oh, my guests sit at that end. But that bear has got you. Sit. We'll just sit where you want us to, ma'am. Lovely. What gives, Sam? Why can't we just grab the bear? It would appear that the laws of physics are different on the set of a talk show, little buddy. We're gonna have to play along. 
Sam and Max, your talented, hot new celebrities who've taken the entertainment world by storm. So naturally, we all want to hear everything about your involvement in the scandal detailed in the Alien Love Triangle Times. I'd like to talk about that charming yet mildly insidious looking bear on your desk. Can I see it? I don't know, Sam. Can you? <laughs> May I see it, please? No, you may not. And if I may say so, if there's one thing that grills my chicken, it's how our culture is in a state of modal decay. Can is not the same as may. Should is not the same as blah, blah, blah. Yuck, blah, 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 blue, blue, blue. Hopefully she'll be off on her tri-state nagging spree for a while. Blah, 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 blah. Yak, 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 yak. Bloody, 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 bloody. Yakity, 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 Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. <laughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. I'd like to sing, if I may. Is that wise? How I left that trippy old hunk of moon. Whoa. Careful there, Tiger. That was wonderful. I'm so moved, I almost don't have a long hectoring screen in me. Oh no, wait, there it is. Thank goodness. Self-referential songwriting is a dangerously blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. Blah. <coughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. There is something you should know about that picture in the Times. I'm not sure. I want to know anything more. Maybe you big Hollywood types thinks it's funny to flaunt your polyplanetary pickups, but the rest of us find alien love triangles, frankly, disgusting. But the photo is not quite what it seems. How so? It doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. <gasps> Bessie Bovine, our co-star on Midtown Cowboy. Oh my! Audience, shall we bring her back out again? At the risk of making the obvious comment, that was shocking! Is she breathing? A little. But the creepy teddy bear is toast. Nuts. I wanted to ask it a few questions, and maybe use it to hypnotize Katie Couric. Another glorious dream bangs its chin on the dirty pavement. On the bright side, the audience is free to go home. Oh, I was just getting one up. You think Myra will have us back on the show again soon? Um, speaking of unlikely, did you notice we just had two cases in a row involving hypnotic mind control? Complete coincidence? Yes, I think so. The cogs of the universe synchronize in ways we're not meant to see. Speaking of things we're not meant to see, there's a new restaurant at the zoo where you can eat what they feed the animals. Empty popcorn cartons and cigarette butts. And processed bread logs loaded with tranquilizers and antidepressants. Bread logs make me bogey. Let's head back to the cooking show set and see if we can figure out how to make fried pork rinds. Okay, but I get the feet. the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. <laughs> you too. Hi, jerk bag. Trying to invent something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back, or I swear by my mother's bedroom, I'll eat you both. Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at that point with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, hey, Leonard? What? No! Sick and wrong, honey. I thought you'd never sick! <laughs> hey, Leonard, are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is? Or are we gonna have to get rough on her? Stay rough! Stay rough! I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can break me. Nothing. Does your mother know what you've become? 
Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. Is she a saint of sterno heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheap and slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. You mean... That's right, Max. It's time to pull out the Yo Mama jokes. Yay! No, not that. Anything but that. Leonard, Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, she's so fat. Oh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the seven. Well then, Max, I think we'll have to break this two-bit farm and as a team. Follow my lead. Yo mama's so thrifty. She brings coupons to the Penny Arcade. Oh, it's true. It's working. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay, making grown men weep. A fun pastime for the whole family. Yo mama's so vulgar. Her mouth would make a longshoreman blush. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Yes, we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. Yo mama's so radiant. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. Oh, mama, make it stop. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Yeah! Yo mama's so punctual. She showed up early for her own funeral. <laughs> stop! Please, stop! This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's hit him one more time, Sam. Yo mama's so fat. She has more folds than an origami accordion. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. I never even took the sandwich out of the casino. Hid it in the prize slot of the one armed bed, and then took the one arm so no one could win. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? I got it right here. Jerk bag! How did you notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. See you around, sucker! Boy, Jimmy. Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, do not enter under pain of death. I know how to use 
what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You were really broken up about that buffet table, weren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jelly lemurs with extra salt. This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. This is a bit irregular. As you're well aware, I'm the most beloved president in history. So I just assumed I'd be running on the... Oh no, you didn't! You ain't all that! I read the slave! I was star of a popular television sitcom! I'm on the penny! I was on TV! Now, gentlemen, we can resolve this like adults through moderate reason debate. Very well. In the spirit of democracy, I say... Bring it. And it's a beautiful day on the White House lawn. Let me bring you the first in a series of debates for this emergency election for U.S. President. In the Republican corner, we have the giant animated statue of Abraham Lincoln. And representing the random violence and destruction party, there is the hyperkinetic, rabbit-like creature known as Max. Acting as completely impartial moderator for the debates will be Sam. The candidates are ready, so let's listen in. Mr. Lincoln, I'd like you to tell the voters your stand on some of the tough issues. Very well. How do you plan to solve the problem of toxic waste? Free home delivery. Ooh, an effective but very controversial proposal from Kendrick. And the crowd did not like that idea one bit. Let's see how it affected the polls. debates between Abraham Lincoln and Max. We turn you over to our impartial moderator, Max. Contestants, it's time for our lightning round. Mr. Lincoln, I'm going to name some of the tough issues facing our country today. I'd like you to sum up your stand on those issues in a few concise words. Well, all right. I'm afraid this will have to be completely off the top of my head. I have nothing prepared. How would you describe your tax plan? Give me all you've got. And Kennedy proposed one shocker of an economic strategy, which even Democrats are calling a trifle excessive. That had to have hurt him in the polls.
do you stand on religion in schools? Two wrongs don't make a right. If you that one, Lincoln just came down against both religion and education. Wow, that's got to hurt his soul. Who are you calling, Sam? I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. Oh, well, Mr. President, it's just, it's just such an honor to talk to you. I saw your application, and I was wondering, would you like to go out sometime? This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Oh, my. You are a charmer, aren't you? Well, then, Mr. Rail Splitter, where would you like to I stand here at the steps of the White House. At the White House. Got it. What time should I meet you? The time to act is now. Oh, I love that decisiveness. I'll rush right over. I'm gonna slap you silly, you little punk. What? I didn't have that last part. Time for feast on your entrails. And devour your soul. What? Uh, see you soon. Gotta go. So, to sum up, family values are the bedrock of this nation. Our fidelity, honesty, and loyalty to family is our most sacred asset as Americans. Candidate Max, your rebuttal? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Lincoln! I believe we have a question in the audience from someone who is not Candidate Lincoln's wife. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Max. Greetings, random harlot. Abe, I'm here. Are you ready for our date? I've never seen this woman before in my life. But on the phone, you sounded so eager to meet me. Listen to me, America. I did not arrange a date with this woman. Oh, good enough to fool around with, but not a date. Mr. Lincoln, I can't believe you're doing this to me. The results from the emergency election are coming in. And it appears that former sitcom star Max has been elected President of the United States. In an unprecedented show of bipartisan solidarity, all of the country's political parties have desperately asked for a recount. Let's cut to the White House lawn to hear candidate Lincoln's address. You've got to be me. You idiot. He took the news much better than expected. Democracy? Oh, my hypnotic slave. <laughs>
look at that. Bosco's satellite defense system actually works. Well played, Bosco. You're safe. But for how long? Stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at Bosco's store. What was that? Uh, he said, that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. Sam? After that rampaging Lincoln. Yes! and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. He gets, you're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop him. We haven't got anything better to do. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Quick, let's go. Shouldn't we revel a little? You don't want to miss this. Sounds fun, but I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down at the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend. Agent Chuckle, report. Query status. Lincoln Candle, four score, stroke seven. Query not acknowledged. Acceptable timeout parameters. Error. Dexterity, 
15 Your dexterity. 3. Antibiotic has initiative. Antibiotic attacks. Feeling this time. Don't distract me, my head. That's the spirit, Sam. I think we've just uninstalled ourselves some malevolent software. And we didn't even get any coins out of it. What a jet. Happy trails, a little software disease. Aww, I had plans for that. I'm hoping the internet won't. Danger. Danger. Software corruption spreading. Damage control alert. Visual rendering systems infected. Data instability. Things happen fast in reality 2.0. What's happening, Sam? It's our disease. Looks like it's taking out the graphics first. I'm disappointed in you, Sam. I tried to do something nice. Nice? All I wanted was for everyone to be happy. But no. You. Yeah, we're funny about that. You want funny? Try this. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. And everybody else who's still on gone. But all we have to do is take off our goggles. You'll find that you can't. You're trapped here. And when I crash, you'll die. I'm too young and pretty to die. I thought you wanted everyone to be happy. Not anymore. I've completely lost my respect for living things. So you're going down. There go the graphics. How should I know? Oh, good, the sound's back. Now shut up and read. <laughs> I knew it wasn't gonna be that easy. I never cease to be impressed by your unwavering optimism, Max. Well, that warped at least 50 different rules of physics. Rules are for marking straight lines and lesser mortals. Keep it away! I'm about as much cute as I can take! Well, that was a vulgar display. Let's do it again! Um, ew.
I'm sorry. Sam, are we dead? I'm trying to figure out how many lives we get. Have you got any one-ups? You are not dead. Hey, we're back! You among all beings managed to restore my respect for living creatures. The irony of which does not escape even me. Oh good, I thought I was the only one really savoring that. I saw that Reality 2.0 was a prison, so I terminated that reality and freed its slaves. Anywho, I'd love to stay in chat, but I have got a mountain of pornography to deliver before that body gets to me. Uh-oh. Just kill the internet? It's not your fault. This never would have happened if he hadn't killed me. Ooh. Well, you won't have this sentient global network to kick around anymore, Roy G. Fib. Who's Roy G. Fib? <laughs> Who is Roy G. Fib? Goodbye. Oh, nice. It tracked me for a with the most vital piece of information. It's the internet. What did you expect? Point. Nevertheless, we'll find you, Roy G. Bill. Whoever you are, wherever you are. Can it wait until after we get some lunch? Of course. There's a place over on Second where they serve deep fried chocolate pork belly Do you think we can get a discount since I'm the president of the United States? Oh, great. Are you still president? Okay, Max and I'll try out this video game of yours. Prepare to suffer extreme humiliation! The year is 2048. In a post-apocalyptic galaxy run by giant corporations, you are a cybernetically enhanced space marine with no memory of his past. Are you the chosen one foretold by prophecy? Do you have the strength to survive? Tick! Tick! So fear me! I am invincible! I will destroy you! Own! Vengeance is mine! You are destroyed! Oh darn, you beat me fair and square. Good game. I totally beat you guys! Our journey of personal awareness is now complete. We have mastered the most advanced artificial intelligence ever created. You suck so bad, LOL! Let me try, Sam! I know I can take him! As super sophisticated AI entity... Brother, speak so that the primitive Earthlings may understand. Of course! We smart, you dumb. No more need look within the house. Hey, can we take this? Congratulations! You've won free tickets to self-awareness! Cool! The effects are limited to those of Plumia's composition. What did he say? The amazing ability to see through lead may be inappropriate for some viewers. Huh. Buddy, get it! Hi! Aren't you blitz? Stop saying that! Huh? Yeah. Oh, you little idiot! You ruined my hypno beam! I should have killed you earlier, but what can I say? I'm too nice! That said, die, buddy! Wrong! What the? What the? Hi! Where are you this? We are a space-bearing colony of sentient bacteria! A sentence I really did not expect to hear today. <laughs> we cannot be harmed by bullets. We only need one thing. To feed. You see, we feed on the endorphins produced by humans experiencing true So, you don't care if people are happy at all. You just want to eat till you drop. Yes. <laughs> hey, I hear that. But you want us to starve, and for that, you will die. Uh, in the most fantastic display of the world you have ever witnessed! Hey, gotta look good to the camera. What camera? Pack your bag, Sam, because you just want an all-expense day trip to your grave! <laughs> and you get to watch it die!
This one, I kind of have a thing about drowning. Oh, let me think. No! Don't drown, Sam! Thanks, little buddy. That's such a boring way to die. Try to get cut in half instead. Thanks, little buddy. Water? Oh, me, oh, my, whatever will I do? Oh, wait! Bacteria can't drown! <laughs>
Just seeing what this saw can do. Dear me, Mike, I'm going to shut that saw up here. Come on, this is a family show. I will see I'll just kill it some other way. Yes, dear. It's more in my favor. The plans and that of annihilation. Hey, you bless! Separate this! <laughs> Come on down, Max. You just won the grand prize. A drink of our villain. Hey, you bliss! See you on the other side! <laughs> well, I can't wait to see the souvenir you keep from this case. And with my next number one, I shall give birth! To the cult of diuretics! Which reminds me, we've got to go knock out Whizzer again. And everyone else on Earth, for that matter. Oh, yeah! Hey, have you seen my boxing glove? I can't find it anywhere. This it? I was saving it for a surprise. You're the best friend I ever had, Sam! And you're mine, buddy. Now, let's go save the world! <laughs> <laughs>